captured Zone B. Zone advantage is yours. This is wonderful! Zone B lost. Two for one. Evil. Once it dies, they win. Portal's ready. Go say hello. They wanted a fight. You gave it to him. Enemy invader down. Phylax found fame at Twilight Gap. Yes. Fame for ruthlessness. For final death. Hey, it's me. I haven't done a build video in a while. I figured I'd pop one out before, you know, the Witch Queen comes out with all the new Void class changes. Kind of looking forward to the, all that because there's going to be a lot of new builds coming out from the new uh, aspects and fragments with the uh, new Void classes. But in the meanwhile, I figure I'd put out one of uh, Stasis builds that I've kind of been goofing around with. Now, there were a couple of changes they had done recently with an update on stasis stuff and one of them was uh, with the diamond lance it's become uh, a bit more usable uh, more viable in builds definitely a lot more fun in PvE and also in PvP starting out I'd like using the precious scars with this build more or less because um, this perk can see uh, final blows from weapons with a damage type matching your subclass energy create a burst of healing around you. After reviving or being revived, you gain an aura that provides overshields to you and nearby allies. From that perk pull right there, I mean, it's nice having that health burst. Of course, you want to have a stasis weapon or something with uh, osmosis so you can change it to stasis. But ideally, uh, a nice stasis weapon, and for me, it's the Ias Luna. Now this is the new weapon that drops from the 30th Anniversary Pack Dungeon, uh, the Grasp of Avarice. Really good hand cannon. Ideally you want to look for something with headstone. I like using this one in PvP, but this one I like using in PvE. Now the reason why I like using Ice Luna with headstone is because you can use it to proc uh, a lot of the other stasis abilities. Here Precision Final Blows spawn a stasis crystal at the victim's location. Also nice in PvP because it kind of blocks a res if you're in trials or something like that. And also unrelenting. This is actually a slept on perk and I didn't realize that it actually procs when you kill things with those stasis crystals. Now there are other stasis weapons you can use besides Ice Luna. Uh, you, I, I like using the Peace Bond. Of course you can have one in your heavy slot, Reed's Regret currently, and uh, the Zephyr. 
And only the reason why I recommend using the stasis weapons is to get the most out of the precious scars. Now the aspects, of course, you're going to use the diamond lance and also the tectonic harvest as uh, an option. Uh, this one's nice because you can give you an overshield. I also like using the howl of the storm. That's another option. Uh, for the fragments, pick and choose which ones, but I think the important one is using whisper fissures. Because if, when you get that stasis crystal, either from your weapon, from headstone, or from your ability, you can smash it. And then it actually does quite a bit of significant damage. That's one of the things they buffed as well with the, the stasis, the, the damage in PvE with the stasis crystals. Here I also have Whisper of Durance, uh, Whisper of Shard, Whisper of Chains, and Whisper of Conduction. All of these are great fragments that you can use. Pick and choose which ones would work for you. It makes it easy to get uh, triple, you know, 100 stats. A little overkill here, but I can take, I can modify it again as well with the fragments. Now, one of the reasons why I like using the new uh, aspect or modified version of the Diamond Lance is they added extra uh, fragment slots, which makes it a big deal that you can add a lot more fragments here, kind of tailor your character the way you want to play. And for a grenade, of course, you want to use Glacial Grenade just for the fact that it helps proc a lot of these abilities down below. Um, you got Whisper of Fissures, you also got, uh, where is it, Whisper of Shards, you know, increases your grenade recharge rate. So definitely the better grenade to use in uh, PvE and PvP. So if you're looking at using this build for strictly PvE, there are a couple of mods you want to be looking out for. Most important one is Elemental Shards here. Stasis Shard count of Stasis Elemental Wells for you. Does not apply to Crucible, Trials, or Iron Banner. Now this pairs very well with the Fragment uh, Whisper of Conduction here. Nearby Stasis Shards track to your position. Kind of acts like um, Seeking Wells where you use that for the other types of wells that drop. I like using Explosive Well Maker since I'm goofing around with Fighting Lion. And for end game content, I like using protective light, pairing that up with not necessarily taking charge, but uh, the better one, elemental charge, since you're going to be basing your build on elemental wells here. Uh, become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental well's element type matches your subclass element, you gain two stacks of charge with light. So in essence, it's easier to get charged with light when you're using a well that matches your subclass type. And of course, since you're using uh, primarily a stasis weapon, it works very well with this. Really don't have anything else to say about the build. It's just a fun little build while we were kind of waiting on the Witch Queen uh, DLC to drop. I know with Void 3.0, there's going to be a lot of uh, new builds, especially with the new exotics and weapons coming out. So I'm looking forward to making some new builds. Alright guys, I do appreciate you checking out the video. If you did like it, please do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe, and share the video. Wasabi out.